What are we talking about today? Gacha games. Very basic question. What is a gacha game? Now, this is coming from Wikipedia, as most of my definitions do. A gacha game is a video game that implements the gacha. The gacha is referring to a toy vending machine mechanic. Gacha games induce players to spend in-game currency to receive a random virtual item. Uh, the in-game currency can be gained uh, through gameplay or by purchasing it using real world funds. Referring to a toy vending machine mechanic. What are, what are, we, what are we talking about? So very basically, uh, this is what we're referring to. A, a gacha pawn machine is this, this vending machine where uh, these capsules are contained, usually in some sort of see-through, or at the very least some way that you can see the capsules. Uh, the vending machine, usually uh, via coins, right? Uh, you put in the coin and, you know, like a vending machine, you turn the knob and it will dispense uh, randomly, supposedly, one of these capsules, and in one of these capsules, you open it up, right, and there is like a little, um, little toy or a little sticker or something inside, some sort of collectible. What does the word, the name Gachapon, come from? So it's it's an onomatopoeia, right, or an onomatopoeic word from uh, the sounds of the gasha for the cranking motion when you turn the knob. It's supposed to be like gacha. It has like this cranking sound. The pawn comes from the, the toy capsule coming out and like it's the sound of like pawn. It comes out and lands on like a little tray at the bottom. So that's where the word gacha pawn comes from. Uh, gacha games are borrowing, using the origins of this to apply to their video games. And the way it works in video games is with a banner. Let's say you want a poll, right? In this banner, there is virtually listed all these different characters or, or items, each with a certain percentage chance to get those, right? And when you commit to rolling or pulling from this banner, you are subjecting yourself to these percent rates, these random, random chance of getting uh, whichever character you might want, right? Let's say that, let's make up, a, let's make up something. Let's say there's, there's a game called Lando Impact. And in this online game, you have a team of Landos and there's certain, there's different types, right? You need a, you need a team. Let's say that you have four characters in your team. And where do you get these characters via? We're putting it together from the banner, right? And let's say there's different characters. There's there's Furry Lando, right? There there's a uh, there's Cookie Run Lando. Um, there's there's Professor Scamdo, uh, Astolfo Lando. There's probably Standard Lando as well. So let's say you really want Furry Lando, right? In this banner, somewhere in the entire set list, there is. Uh, a furry Lando and there's a percent chance to get furry Lando. There are two schools of thought when it comes to gacha game players. You are either one of these. First school of thought being the meta slave. Uh, the meta slave is, you know, simply put a slave to the meta. The meta being, um, you know, what is the best character to have on your team? What is the strongest? What is statistically the best team composition for you to have? You are, if you are a meta slave, you are bogged down by the weight of, of countless YouTube tutorials. The game has not even come out yet and you're watching YouTube tutorials on the Korean version or whatever. Countless Reddit threads of, of analyzing the optimization and making your team of characters the best it could possibly be. When it comes to rolling, to, to participating, to using the gacha, um, this train of thought, only rolls if they think a character is strong enough. These are the tryhards. These are the sweats. They are bogged down by the weight of the meta. That's why we call them meta slaves. 
Uh, second school of thought when it comes to rolling for gacha games is the school of waifus. So in this second train of thought, uh, I roll because I think this character is cute, lol xd. Ignorance is bliss when it comes to this school of thought. While the meta rollers have min-maxed their way into an intellectual prison, this train of thought doesn't care about stats about the numbers, about what is quote unquote optimal. You know, you, you have to ask yourself the question, who here is really enjoying the game? Do we know what this is? Yes, yes, very good. This is a whale. Whales, put simply, are the players that spend an immense amount of money on microtransactions, on gacha, rolls, pulls, compared to the average player. The term whale has its roots in casino culture, gambling culture, casino officials, uh, for example, would go around and they would call it whale hunting, searching for the players to keep playing because they are the ones, again, spending the most amount of money. We're gonna talk about something I like to call the cycle of gacha grief. It starts with excitement. You, ha you see a new character. You really want this new character. You're excited to roll. You pull out the wallet, cha-ching, and you exchange your money for in-game currency to roll for the gacha. You're excited that this new character is out, and so you roll, and you don't get it. You do not get it. Next stage. That's okay, that's okay. I just started. That was my first roll. <laughs> you can't, ex oh, come on, I can't expect to get it on the first try. That's okay. And then you do not get it. Moving on to the next stage. This is what I like to call, come on, come on. This is anger. Here, you're, you're, you're angry. Not to say that you're, not, you're still optimistic. You still think you can get it at this stage, but you're angry. Come on, you still don't get it. Surprisingly, surprisingly so. That's not bad. This is where we start entering the copium territory. Right, this is where the player, the gacha player starts to cope because they're saying, you know what, I wanted this character, but I got this instead, and you know what? That's not bad. Not bad, AKA, could be worse. It could be worse. You still are not getting the character you want. In, in terms of emotional scale, right? We, we go up to anger and then we come down, we dip down for not bad. Now we're going back up. This is the, there's no way. This is anger part two, there's no way. Here, you're angry, but you still think you're gonna get it. Then you cope, and then you're angry again, but now with very little expectation. I, I wrote how many times? There's no way, there's just no way, right? Almost hysterical, this is, this is your Joker arc. And then finally, you don't get it, acceptance. After not getting your role, it is what it is, and you accept that you did not get your role, you have zero hope zero chance of getting it. In your heart, you know that it's over. You accept the fact that you did not get what you want. And only then, only then when you are at the lowest, that's when you hit. That is when you get your roll. And after that, the cycle repeats and you are excited for the next character banner. You are excited for the next opportunity to partake in the gacha. So it, it's, one, it's one thing for me to tell you, but let me show you. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to uh, do a practical demonstration of what we're exactly talking about. This right here on the screen, what you're looking at is my desktop. This is Genshin Impact, a popular uh, gacha game um, demonstrating all the qualities we have just spoken about. Right here, you can see this is the banner, the character banner. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna participate in the act itself. So I have used my own money. I have purchased um, these currencies, in-game currencies, to roll for you right now. You can do a chungus roll and roll for 10 characters all at once if you have the necessary resources. Okay, so we just rolled and as you can see, this is what, these are the items we got. Uh, a lot of undesirables. Oh, okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. Could be worse, 
Could be worse. We got Toma. I don't have Toma. Not bad. But uh, you know what? I don't have Toma. I didn't have Toma. So you know what? It's not bad. It's not bad. I have, I have enough for a little bit more. Do I have two more rolls? Here's one. Okay, okay. We have, we have one more. Do I have... Th th this can't be. Do I have... Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's just, just, just a little more. Just a little more. I, I, I have a little more. I have, I have a little more. Come on! Holy fuck! We have one more. We have one more. It's not bad.